Hi there, it's Larry Lursey. I'm going to talk to you today about sharpening. What I want to do is take a look at a product by Topaz called Sharpen AI. And I want to see what kind of a job it does sharpening, maybe compare it to a different type of sharpening and um, kind of compare the results. So I've got an image here of this puppy that is out of focus. We have focused here at the front of the cushion and so the dog has fallen out of focus and it's very soft, probably unusable as an image. But uh, we will take a look. thought this would be a good challenging one to try and bring back. So what I'm going to do for our first one here is just do an unsharp mask. There's a million different ways to, uh, to sharpen um, with high pass or different plugins. But I'm just going to do a basic sharpen, unsharp mask. Let's get in here on this eye. And we're going to get this thing turned way up. I've got it up to about 400 with a radius of about five. I think that's about the best we can get without it just breaking up all the pieces. So let's take that. So this is going to be our baseline that we'll compare that and we'll go ahead and change that to uh, unsharp just so we can remember what we did. And this darling we will try with Topaz. So we'll go up here to filter Topaz. You can see I've got a bit of a Topaz hoarding problem, but uh, here we go, sharpen AI. So let's try and look up here at this section. It's going to generate a quick preview for us here. Now over here you've got uh, the kind of the sharpening modes. Focus is obviously what we've got here. It was out of focus. Stabilize is more your motion if it's got motion blur. And uh, sharpen here, I just use when I don't know which of these two it is. I think that's just kind of a general sharpening. We know it's focus, so I'm going to switch to focus. Now, every time we make a change over here, it's going to um, generate a preview. So let's see. I, I think I'm going to start out with auto right off the bat. And let's just see what it comes up with by itself, letting it make all the decisions. And that looks pretty good. Uh, if we look at the before to the after, I think that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and apply that. This will take a second and we will be right back. Okay, so we are back. Now that took oh, about two and a half minutes, so not a super quick process. It kind of depends on your file and on your uh, processor but here we go so we've got this file back now and let's try and take a look at them side by side so we've got the topaz over here and the unsharp mask on this side and wow this one looks a ton better um, kind of trying to look at this eye here and the nose. I mean, if we look at the nose, let's get them over a little bit. Really see a huge difference here on how much better this nose looks than, than this one. We've got some detail in there. This one's not only so pixelated, but it's just not as sharp. And really, when you look here at this eye and these hairs, it's just night and day how much better this one looks. So um, I think that really does a very nice job of uh, of recovering an image that was in pretty bad shape. You know, if we look back at the original to there, that's amazing. So, you know, it does a pretty good job. And again, that was just in auto mode. We could certainly put it in manual and play with the sliders and maybe push it even farther. But I just wanted to kind of get a quick look at what it did and uh, just give you an idea of the capabilities. But certainly might be something you want to take a look at and uh, explore all the different options yourself. But I, I'll put a link in the description to where you can take a look at it. Topaz is really good at uh, doing free trials. So download a trial, give it a shot, and uh, let me know what you think. But I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.